marketing is an art form. You know, people spend all day working hard, earning money, and it's our job to convince them to give that to us. And when it comes to marketing, motion pictures are probably the most complicated things of all. Because you can't just tell people, you know, give me money and I'll let you watch people pretending like things are happening for 90 minutes. That strategy doesn't work. I've tried it. So when it comes to marketing motion pictures, you need to know what you're doing. And that's where I come in. My name is Normantula McMahon. You could call me Norm. I come from a long line of marketers. My grandfather pioneered the phrase, four out of five doctors recommend. Brilliant idea. Really boosted cigarette sales amongst young mothers. As for me, I've dabbled in various industries, but now I work exclusively in motion pictures. If you've seen a movie in the past few years, that's probably because of me. I get butts in seats. That's what I do. I've influenced your butt in ways you can't possibly imagine. But how do I do that? What's my secret? You know they can't hear you, right? I thought this was like a Dora the Explorer situation. Okay, well then we should probably just start. When it comes to marketing motion pictures, trailers are your best friend. But you have about two minutes to hook people in. You have to remove any doubts from their minds about whether or not they're gonna like this thing. So how do you do that? By showing them the entire motion picture. Here's the beginning, the middle, and the end. All the major plot points, all the exciting moments laid out for you to see. All of them set to a somber cover of a song that's normally very happy. Is there a major plot twist halfway through the picture? Let's throw that in the trailer too. And let's set it to a haunting orchestral cover of Uptown Funk by Bruno Mars. Now, people know where they stand in regards to the picture. They've seen the damn thing. And if they wanna see a longer version of the same thing, fleshed out with filler scenes and stuff, that's when they storm the ticket carousel and we secure their butts. We make trailers for trailers now. Did you know that? They're extremely popular and very easy to make. What you do is cut a five second trailer for the trailer and play it before the trailer. Here's a tease of the tease that's about to tease you. It's just a continuous chain of teasing. I like to call it a train of titillation, much to the dismay of the HR department. Another great thing about trailer trailers is that we can place them as YouTube pre-roll ads. And people have no choice but to sit there for a few seconds before they can hit that skip ad button. And guess what? In those few seconds, they've just watched a trailer for the trailer. We got them. Their butts, specifically. In seats. Social media has opened up a whole new realm of promotion. People spend a lot of time on these platforms, and so we do too. What we need to do is hijack their personal conversations and make them about the picture. Nobody cares what you had for lunch, Vanessa. It's time to talk about Detective Pikachu. Leonard, nobody cares about your first day of school. Look at the fur texture on Pikachu's back. A method that's growing in popularity is influencer marketing. Influencers see themselves as mini-gods. They're not. But if they seem interested in something, their followers will probably follow suit. So if you pay an influencer to pretend to be interested in your motion picture, you can make a lot of money. Another great thing about social media is that it's a fantastic place on which you can shove your publicity stunts. A very effective and inexpensive way to do this is to have your stars visit sick children in the hospital. You're very obviously promoting a film, but people can't get angry about that. Because sick kids. It's a beautiful thing. Now you might be thinking, the movie hasn't come out yet and these sick children have no idea who these characters are, so why would they be excited? Well, it's not about them. It's about the amazing social media photos we're gonna get that make it seem like we care. And we do care about the success of our picture. I absolutely love nerds. 
They just make everything easier. In my high school years, if I needed some extra cash or some lunch money, I would just shake a nerd for a little bit. Bam, instant cash, like an ATM. If I needed some homework done, I would put a nearby nerd in a headlock. Straight A's. So I was delighted to discover that taking advantage of nerds translated perfectly into my career. Because just like in high school, in the world of movie marketing, nerds will help you get richer, and they'll do your work for you. So how does this work? Well, as it turns out, nerds are extremely passionate about motion pictures. Films are the one bright light in their otherwise sad, dark, depressing lives. So when anything, anything movie related is released online, they'll analyze it, they'll dissect it, they'll make YouTube videos delving into theories about it. That's free promotion. And when I say anything, I mean anything. It could be a blurry set photo from a Star Wars movie where you kind of see a lightsaber. Forget about it, they're gonna have a field day. Nerds. So you can use this to your advantage by leaking things. I leak things all the time, I'm very leaky. In fact, just before you guys got here, I, I leaked something, a set photo from a gruesome horror picture I'm working on. I was in the hot tub with a couple of girls and I told them, I just leaked something and it's disgusting. They were so excited they got right out of the hot tub. Probably to go check Twitter, I don't know, they never came back. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is a godsend for motion picture marketers. If you find yourself in a position where you need to promote a Marvel movie, you could pretty much just stay at home in the tub and you'll still do a stellar job of it. See, when a Marvel movie comes out, it's filled with tiny little commercials for other Marvel movies. Some people call these Easter eggs or references or cameos. By having huge event films like The Avengers, Marvel has transformed all their other movies into commercials for The Avengers. Oh, I'd better go see the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie if I want to understand what's going on in the new Avengers movie. It's truly brilliant and a little evil, but in a good way. But all the best financial strategies in history have been a little evil. Just ask my grandpapa. Big Tobacco had real deep pockets. And people will sit through five minutes of credits just to get a glimpse at what the next commercial might be about. It's insane. These nerds are nuts. So as a motion picture marketer, what should you do to promote these movies? The answer is, whatever the hell you want. If you're marketing a Marvel movie, you could just throw in a bunch of shots that won't even be in the final film. Nobody cares. Now, has this strategy worked for anybody except Marvel? No. But I still get paid. And that's what matters. Now that I've let you in on some of my secrets to success, you should be able to thrive as a motion picture marketer. There's nothing quite like walking into a movie theater filled to capacity with nerds and just thinking, wow, all these butts are here because of me. And then going home and watching that same motion picture in your home theater. Then pour yourself a nice tall glass of scotch, maybe settle into the hot tub, have a nap. Do make sure to check your pockets for valuables before getting in though, that's very important. Wait, did I? Oh my god. Okay. It's fine. That gravitas of a real dickhead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's gonna be an asshole. Don't put a temporary tattoo of an auto butt. Auto butt. <laughs> <laughs>